morning I'm here in the Mandalay Jade Market and uh, I'm having a coffee with my three purchase of the morning. This one is the most important. It's a jade where you can see a little window on a clear... Inside you can see some clear jade. So this one is a blind because uh, both of these are blinds because you don't know uh, what can be inside these stones. We have to take them to the, to the shop and open a window here so we will know the color of the jade if these stones have any jade inside. And that's the treasure hunting part because this stone can be uh, very valuable or also completely worthless. <laughs> Door number two, partial blind, 50 US dollars. Thank you. Okay, so, door number two, 70 US dollars. Oh, this is Jay. This is Jay. And uh, let's see. It is green, but uh, no, not so good. I, it is not an imperial green. Goal number three. What am I doing in a hotel room full of cash? I am in Mandalay and I have to exchange into money the gold that I have found in the last year. Um, here there is around uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 700 US dollars in local currency and there is 2,000 more US dollars here in my bag. I hope that I will not have to use them all today. We are uh, on a um, treasure hunt in Myanmar for jade that will last 10 days. So let's put some money in the pockets. And let's go shopping. Okay, so here we are in the Mandalay Jade Market. We did our first deals. Uh, around uh, 80 US dollars of stones which we have to gamble on and uh, we can show them to you here there are all cut stones we decided to buy some stones that were not cut yet because the price is much lower for the stones that you you didn't cut okay so here you can see our purchases there is there are these two small stones and then these these ones here which are black you have no idea what's inside so we will have to cut them to see what's the color of the jade inside and see if the investment has paid off or not oh these looks like birds like eating birds so these all looks like lost bats because outside before cutting them they didn't know what was inside then they cut them they realized that the jade was not very good see this is gray a bit cracky and so they discarded it and they are still trying to sell it these are stones where uh, a small window has been cut so you can peep inside and kind of already see the what will be the final color we asked the price before and they were asking for a few million check for, uh, for these which is a few thousand uh, US dollars which is too much and uh, these are stones which we bought that uh, we, we don't know what's inside nobody knows what's inside but you should just try to buy them and bet on the content and hope that inside there is some uh, some good material Hi. and so now that the market will open uh, we will go inside the, um, where there are the saw mills for the stones and cut the stones open to see if we made a good deal or not buying uh, buying this kind of uh, rough jade yeah he is showing us now the transparency which is impossible to tell so here 
we are cutting our first toe. The cut is almost finished. Who knows what's inside? Who knows that when the, the battery goes? Okay, so here the stone arrived and uh, let's make the owner check what's inside by opening the lid. So here we are deciding how to expose the window in the stove. Probably the best way is here, in the front, like this. So this is another stove and we made a very superficial cut uh, and we cannot see yet what's inside so we need to make another layer of a, of a cut this is the next stone we decide to make a window there so here we can see the first of the two pieces cut remove the lid and it's a beautiful stone pietra <laughs> Okay, so the last stone is coming back. That's another stone. So here you see there are so many stones that you should have to try to understand which one one of them contains the precious jade and which one is just a stone uh, yes thanks <laughs> I just bought this one it's quite heavy and the surface in the surface the crystals are small so I'm hoping it for it for it to be uh, jadeite <laughs> Nothing. Doing like that. Small window there. So sad. Okay. 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 Here we are in the area where there are the buyers. The buyers will sit at the table waiting for the sellers to bring them the, the stones. And usually the, the buyers are Chinese. So here you have awesome, oh, beautiful piece here. And they are proposing to the, to the buyers. See here. The, the guy just proposed to this table a stone, they are evaluating. They are evaluating the clarity and looks very nice actually. It looks like a very beautiful yellow and um, bluish greenish semi rough stone. And it would be interesting to see what the price they will sell it for. Here we are in the area where they sell the, say, the finished product with all these cabochons and they are everywhere uh, dealing and vetting and choosing the, the different quality of uh, these different cabochons and see, you see this market is huge, thousands of people choosing, picking here you can see where they make the cabochon and the semi-rough pieces and these are very old traditional 
foot operated uh, machines. These are all young guys, like teenager guys, doing this kind of polishing job. <laughs> 